All right, we're back at the house. You know, we've got a little rained on, so we've got dry clothes on. Look at the morels I found. First time ever. I'm so excited. Wait till Josh sees what I found. He's going to be so excited. There's Josh. Come on in, bud. Hey, how you doing, Sean? Check what I found, buddy. Good job. That's, oh. uh, that's, that's not bad. Yeah. Uh, wow. So that's where he disappeared, too. Yeah, we, we uh, morel hunters don't show all our secrets. I was lucky to find myself out. Yeah. Yeah, you did good though. That's, uh, hey, first time out, uh, I'd take that any day. Oh, I'm taking, I'm so happy. So a lot of people forage mushrooms in the spring, but you want to enjoy them year round, so there's different ways to preserve them. And a lot of people, you dehydrate them, which is great, you rehydrate them, um, but you tend to lose a little bit of the flavor from what I understand from you, Josh, right? Right. So you have a technique to preserve these where you can enjoy them year round. And you say this is like 25% more flavor than dehydrated. Yeah, you're going to keep the flavor, you keep the size, you lose, so much when you dehydrate them, you uh, they come back about 80%. Right. Here, they're, they're 100%. There's a way you put them in. Look at the size of these. And we keep yeah. these out of the freezer. It'll be excellent. Yeah. yeah. If I could talk, it'd be even better yet, wouldn't it, Josh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started. What do you say? The first thing we do is we cut them? We slice yeah. them? I usually get a couple up here. Are it's these normal size morels? These, these are pretty season? big. These are big These are big morels. Uh, early season, you'll find pretty much the whites, right. uh, the dark grays ones we call blacks, they're smaller. These are the golden ones. Uh, Flavor-wise, are they different? The blacks and the whites are probably the, the best uh, flavor. But these are the end of the year, you know, getting to the end of the season, the, this is what you're gonna find. What you're saying um, at the end of the year, you see the big ones, that's telling you it's the end of the season. Yeah, you're getting close to, it's done. And it looks so. like we're darn close to the end of the season. Yes, we are. We were very fortunate to find what we found today. Yes. All we're going to do is, um, it's really simple. We're just going to split them in half. So that's it. And when you split these in half, you're going to see there's going to be bugs in here. Yep. And basically, that's the process of putting them into salt water. Uh, Let me get some water. Okay, we got these split up. And I just throw them in. You can add a little bit more water to this. Right. And we can get them covered. Can you oversalt it? I Not don't really. think so, no. And do you rinse them off when it's done? The salt or just take them out and dab them off and yep okay I like to just take a paper towel and if you push the paper towel down in it kind of holds the soaked water it in takes the, moisture. the air pocket out right check that out so that's a smart tip there and you'll see after a couple days honestly you will see you'll start to see some you know ants and bugs and stuff that come up mm -hmm. and you're killing them. I say after a couple days overnight whatever it's gonna kill any bugs or anything it's in there and bacteria of course, when you cook it, that's when your right. bacteria and stuff will come And they're out. extra protein. Yes. But this is a great tip as far as, you know, keeping it submerged. Yep. Plus, it keeps all the air out. Right. And that's what's important to that, to soak up that salt water yep. and make it electricity. Yep. I can't even say it either. Yeah. Rubbery. Rubbery. Here we have some that have soaked and have been in the refrigerator a while. And uh, if you notice, Sean. Right. Look, if you bend that. You it. try to bend it before we clean it, it just breaks yep. apart. Yeah, you, uh, they they really get their uh, strength back. Well, you can really smell the mushroom, yeah. can't you? Yeah, you can. So you have uh, you have flour here. Now you season the flour. Right. And what, what do you have in yours? Uh, in this flour here, we have a Greek seasoning. Nice. Yeah, it's a little, uh, we get it from uh, some friends. Uh, it's a good seasoning, but you can use salt, pepper. Right. Whatever you like. Just saying that, that's a, sort of a secret in itself is the Greek spices, huh? Yeah, kind of like the mushrooms. You have all secrets? Anything's not a secret? <laughs> <laughs> not really. And we have the mushrooms that have already soaked in the water and... Overnight, uh, and then you just drained and that's it? Yep. All I do is take and I drop in the mushrooms. And see, you can see the water. Drop them in the flour. And the moisture probably helps the flour to attach to it, right? Yep. You don't need to roll them any egg wash or any of that. Zip this bag up. Okay. You just you give know. a nice coat. Yep, give them a nice coat. And they're going to be, they'll be, they'll have a good bit of flour on them. So what I like to do is I like to take them and I just kind of shake them off a little bit in the bag when they come out. Wow. So they come out coated nice with flour and you just lay them here on the cookie sheet. So then when you put them in the bag, they don't stick and they sort of free float in there. Right. And because if, if we just threw them in a bag right now, it'd be a big chunk of, uh, Mushroom. <laughs> yeah, it just comes out. Wow. 
And I like to shake the flour off. You can get, you know, nobody likes the taste of just flour, so no. you don't want too much on there. So shake it off. And with this step, you can take it right from the frozen bag. You can deep, deep, deep fry it then, or cook it, or cut it. Yeah. Um, you know, we we like to just fry it in butter. The morel taste is so good oh. by itself. You, yep. Like you said, just the flour, just enough to coat it. Right. The flavor itself, is you don't need to put any batter no. or anything. No, and, and typically, you know, we'll freeze so many of them, and we have a lot of friends and family, we yes. give a lot of them away. But I personally like to just fry them in butter. Right. And throw them on a good mushroom venison burger. I saw the venison burger you made the other day. That was yeah. nice. So, now, will they last in the freezer for like, for like a year? I'm sure you're, yep. they don't go for a year, but will they last for a year? Long sure. Frozen. I would say yeah. I I mean they don't last a year in my freezer. Right. Or freezer. Well, these are all ready to go in the freezer, right? Right. So you just put them on a rack. Yep. yep. Overnight. You want me to grab the ones you put in here last night? Yeah. Grab the ones that we uh, did up for last night. Wow, they're solid. Okay. Yeah. So now you can see they are froze. I'm ready to go in the bag, and they won't stick. Right. We had a great day today, got a little rained on, but we found some beautiful morels, met some fantastic people, and you wait to see what kind of dishes we can make with these mushrooms. Oh, this is game on. Thanks for watching.